Hey guys, so we are about to enter the garden <laughs> for Butterfly World. Are you ready to see all the butterflies? I can't wait. <laughs> Here we go. The first thing you see when you enter Butterfly World is the research lab. This is where they have all sorts of different butterflies and they're growing in their cocoons. Isn't this amazing? Check out these babies. Beautiful, you guys. I so wish you were here. These are called owl butterflies because as you see they look just like owl eyes and they're here munching on the banana how delicious is that <laughs> Have you guys ever seen a white butterfly? Look at her. How would you guys pronounce this? Jaboticaba? It appears that it grows this beautiful little edible fruit. And it also grows little white flowers that grow in groups of four. Oh my god, look at these tiny itsy bitsy birds. We've never seen these inside of the garden before. They're so pretty. Lou thinks they're finches. I guess when we find the sign for them, we'll see. There's itsy bitsy teeny tiny chicks in there. Let's see if I can stretch my.
what do you think about it so far? Oh, it's always beautiful. It's amazing, all the colors, all the butterflies. I feel like I want to sneeze a lot. <laughs> a couple of times already. <laughs> it does get to my allergies. It's a beautiful place. It's like a paradise for the butterflies and all the little birds too. The birds are cute. I like the birds. We're gonna see more birds in a little bit. Alright, let's continue strolling through Butterfly World and show you more. This guy's my favorite. The colors are just magnificent. You guys, a while back, Lou bought me this plant and I want to share with you guys because they're absolutely beautiful and they're sensitive to touch. Like, which one are you going to touch? Let me show them the leaf before you touch it. Okay, so you see the leaf is like completely open. And when Lou touches it, she closed up. And then she goes like, good. Isn't that so cute? There's a little mist walkway which we will avoid not to get my phone wet. <laughs> but on hot summer South Florida days, that is so welcome. And there's Lou. I guess she's checking out the photographs that she's taken, <laughs> which we will be sharing with you guys. Hi! <laughs> koi fish out there if I remember correctly I think so. and there's lorikeets yeah. which we get to interact with can't wait for that <laughs> so much fun <laughs> bye guys look at these bamboos behind us amazing huh? incredible <laughs> Walking through a path that has tons of different passion flowers. So like this one is called Passion Minata.
We're not quite with the lorikeets yet, but we are in another little area that's like a whole bunch of tiny little birds. So let's see what we can capture on the camera for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think one of these pooped on me, Mom. Oh, what? busy right now. Very wobbly. <laughs> Gotta love the children on it. Yeah. My favorite. <laughs> years ago there was quite fish in the pond but there's none this time hmm. All right. uh oh that's my food Poop on your head. Ah, what a lovely thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at it. It's sticking the, her, its tongue inside the cup. Right, well, because they're nectar feeders, so they have this unique tongue that when they extend it, a little brush it has a little palipi. Oh. And that way they're able to soak up pollen and nectar from flowers. How oh, interesting. Look lick, at that. And lick the juice from the fruit. Holy cow. It's like cleaning the bow. Aww. Guess I'm taking that one with me. Yeah, yeah. I think she wants to come home with us. Do they make good checks? No. <laughs> How do you know if they're boys or girls? Ah, uh, you don't. Oh, okay. Male and female is the same. Aww. Interesting. Completely red and black versus the others that have yellow and green.
love the zoo. My ultimate fear. Lou makes fun of me because she spider. says that I call the tiniest spiders yeah. big spiders. That's your big spider. Yeah, this I think that's huge. My big spider. Yeah, that's a monster. Yeah. Look at the antennas on this one. Oh my goodness. Here's some lantern flies. Do these things even exist today? Because <laughs> they look like dinosaurs. They're huge. Look at this. I don't know what I'd do if I were to see one of these things in person. Oh my gosh. So this is a rose hair tarantula. The tiny little spider. Nothing out of this world. This is a little tiny spider. Take his hand. Hello. It says it's a bird eating spider. Jesus Christ. Come around this way. Black widow. Tiny but so deadly. You calling me? Yeah. And it's moving. The mm -hmm. one in the back. What do we have here? We have a bunch of them over like here. Looks like they're eating corn. Let's see if we can come around and see this time. The one in the back is doing aerobics. Oh no, that glass is really dirty. Let's look at it from here. Uh-uh. This is like an episode of Fear Factor. Yum yum. I think someone likes the American cockroach. <laughs> Don't miss touching superworms. Once upon a time, for five years, we had a bearded dragon named Ophelia. And Ophelia loved eating superworms and waxworms. So, here is the garden area where you can shop for different plants. Butterfly Garden Center, where there are rare and unusual plants. Mm, I'm guessing also fruit trees, since this is a peach. <laughs> to attract more butterflies into your garden this is definitely the place to get all sorts of amazing beautiful and exotic plants that bring in the butterflies <laughs> you got a picture of that lipstick tree wow so according to some other visitors these are used widely like in Indian and South African and Latin cultures 
This lipstick tree has um, seeds inside of them, many seeds, and they're used to color uh, the food as well as provide some flavor, but mainly for coloring. After spending an afternoon here, feel free to stop at their cafe and get some ice cream. <laughs> Shop. <laughs> oh my god. That's so pretty. Can't imagine putting that in the RV though. <laughs> Merry Christmas, y'all. Hey guys, so we are done at Butterfly World. What an amazing experience. It's always fun to come and get to hold the birds. Um, they have a garden also with a lot of really beautiful plants and flowers, which I'm assuming they grow for the butterflies. Uh, and the butterfly garden is amazing. It's just an experience that you have to have. There's no way of, of describing it. There's no real words to describe it. Yeah, having them fly all around you and yeah. land on you. And you can like get real close up, which I'm sure you've seen in the videos, and they're not even bothered. They're not phased by it. Yeah, I think they're used to you know, human interaction in there. And then there's also like a lab area where you can see the cocoons and the process. So that part is pretty interesting too. Very scientific. This, is, this place is not disappointing. It's not our first time. No, this is probably our second or third time here. Yeah. But I think now we were able to capture it because we're also seeing it through the lens, not just our eyes, and trying to focus on finding the, the extraordinary. <laughs> That's right. And the mimosa plants are awesome. Oh, I love those. Yeah. Those are my favorite. Yeah, yeah they're, they're so fun. fun. Exactly, they're interactive. Exactly. Yeah. So if you have children, <laughs> your children all of them, because you know, they get to touch them and see them close up. Or, or they'll destroy them. Or <laughs> yeah, for that. <laughs> Um, well, if you come out to South Florida, Butterfly World is located in Coconut Creek. I believe it's Coconut Creek. It's Coconut Creek. It's inside of Tradewinds Park, which is a huge park. You've seen us play disc golf here. Um, there's a huge walking path here. There's a river that you can kayak. A lake. A little lake. Um, there's a there's field, tons of other soccer things. field, yeah. baseball fields. Oh, yeah, this is a huge it's park. Enormous. Um, and then what else? The price, it is $29.99 for adults. I really didn't pay attention to the children's price, sorry, but you can check their website. <laughs> and they're open um, until 5 o'clock. They close the butterfly garden and the aviary garden at 430 and there's a fee Saturday and Sunday to get inside the oh, park. Oh yeah, for parking. Is, uh, I believe it's three dollars. Yeah. So come on out to Butterfly World. Let us know if you come to South Florida, and uh, we'll see you guys on the road. Take care. Bye.